Ricky Attenborough with his Santa hat and beard at 5.15. Miracle on 34th Street. But right now, up the baubles for Christmas with Deal or No Deal. Deal. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Right on the eve of our Santa or Scrooge week, you know, his creation that can do wonders for the player or could turn out to be a complete and absolute disaster. And I have to say that on this Sunday, I would not want to be playing the banker because something happens to the banker just before we have a Christmas week of Santa or Scrooge. He seems to get a new confidence and, of course, his confidence has been built up by two games last week. So I think he could be quite devious. On the eve of our big Christmas week, the banker might throw caution to the wind, or he could be absolutely ghastly. Certainly hope my name's not going to come up here. I wouldn't want to play him. On the other hand, the good news is you won't be facing Santa or Scrooge, because you're on right now. Israel. Welcome to your game. Welcome to the crazy chair. Do please take a seat. Thank Israel Chipara from Leicester, but originally from Zimbabwe. That's correct. You are a group manager at a health and nutrition company. That's right, Noah. What's that involve? Um, in my job, we believe food is not only food. Um, it's how you prepare it, how you cook it, and where you cook it. So, you know, we go out, we, we teach new people. Um, you know, healthy eating, you know, if you like. Mm. I like the bit in your file that it says, it says, been good for your waistline. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I look you know, healthy. You I do. <laughs> you look great. You. And who's this? Yeah, those are my girls. Um, oh, that is a great picture. Lulu, Lulu, you know, the younger one, and Chi Chi, you know, the elder one. Uh, I think the picture was taken two, two or so years ago. And uh, I've got a rough idea from down here what you'd like to spend money on, and we'll talk about that in a while. Um, but what's he going to make of you? You've been very quiet over there, Israel. No one can, you know, underestimate me. What I've come for, this is my only opportunity to win big money. So I'm going to push the boundaries. Israel, I like that kind of talk. I need you please to confirm that you chose box 18 at random before the game began. Yes, I did. It is sealed by our independent adjudicator who seals all of these boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Israel, I like the fighting talk. Give us a memorable game and go away from here, a very wealthy man. Good luck to you, Israel. Thank you very much. Good luck. Do I have a system? I have a multiple system. Multiple? Yeah. Multiple system? Um, I asked my family to, to help me with the system to use. My wife said, anyone who will be wearing blue 
is likely you know, to have blue in their box. Now the second one came from Chichi. Chichi said to me, Daddy, um, if you start with the biggest numbers, uh, they will have blues, and the smaller numbers will have reds. And then Lulu, you know, the youngest, they said, Daddy, leave number th three in number nine. Right. So I'm going to leave number three in number nine right up to the, uh, right up to the end. Are you following all this? <laughs> <laughs> Help him if he goes wrong. Right. My nephew, Patrick, said two consecutive numbers. Uh, one would have a blue, one a red. So I see um, 12 and 13. So one of them this. will be blue, one will be red. 21 and 22, one will be blue, one will be red. So you see it's a multi, multi system. <laughs> okay. So well, good luck with your system. Thank you very much. Right. Tina, number 11, please. Okay, good luck, Israel. Thank you. First person to come with a system that works. <laughs> that is brilliant. Let's go to H. H. Number 19, please. Is your green tail? This is a blue tail. Yeah. No, there's no hope it is. Fantastic. Yeah, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's go to Bell, please. Number 12. Hello, welcome. Hello. Where did we get you from? Wolverhampton. Lovely. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Um, you're blue, so the box is blue. Good luck, Israel. Thank you. Yeah! Oh! Thank you. Well, from now on, you'll be known as Blue Bell. <laughs> Think Order, of please, number four. Okay, we're going with you. I hope this uh, keeps going. How can we interpret that to uh, still retain credibility in your system? Uh, 5,000 units still all right. It's more blue than red. Yes, that's the way. That's the way to look at it. Yes. Yeah. Good. How many more do we have to go? One more. Okay. Right. Uh, looks like we've done all blues. In which case now I will go to box number 22, please, because... Who suggested that? That's Chichi. Chichi. Yeah. Chichi suggested that the big numbers would have blues. Good luck then, Azure. Yeah. That is, uh, that's one of the best openings we've had for a very, very long time. We like that. Hello! Yeah, he said he didn't understand a word of it, but it works. <laughs> You've got a similar system. Y your postman said, offer him 8,000. The guy that smelt gas and then fixed your boiler said, offer him 10,000. But you're ignoring all of them and offering eleven thousand pounds. <laughs> this, this could go down as one of our most complex games ever. Fantastic. It's good, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, but hey, we still have got everything there. Yes, I'm ready for the question. Eleven thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much. Nice offer, but no deal. Thank you. Now what? We did number 22. The next one would have...
would have been 21, but because the two of them are consecutive ones, I will leave it out. I will leave number 21. Number 20, Lynn, please. All right, right mate. Are you following this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with it. So Good luck, Israel. You're a lovely guy. I hope this is blue, mate. Number 17, please. Holly? It's gonna make you smile. Okay. Oh, that's oh, you're yeah. giving him something to remember you by. Sorry. Right then. Let's just have a little look at the damage so far. The body's still very good, and um, we still have what, a lot to play for, so yes. I really think it's a small dent. Okay. <laughs> um, the nation are waiting for a compelling reason to return to the most baffling game we've ever had. <laughs> Nation, when you look at the when you look at the ball, there is 250,000 pounds there at stake. You come back, watch me walk away with 250,000. Come back. I don't see why we should suffer alone. Israel has actually come with the most complex system that anybody has ever created in the history of deal. And as you can see, at the moment, uh, we are explaining on screen the elements and nuances of the system. Um, I probably should have suggested you had a pen and a piece of paper handy, but uh, we'll keep running the details of the system for those who are late starters or people like me who are thick. One to go. Right. Okay. One to go. Yeah. Where were we? Oh, don't ask us where we were. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, don't. No, right. It's your okay. system. Don't expect us to know I where you got box, to. I had 17. That was number 17. Thank you. Then, in that order, uh, we will then move over to, to Franny. Number 16, please. Israel, I understood that system to the T, mate. There's some daft people in here, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> oh! And good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Franny. Thank you. Good luck, Israel. Yes. The great thing is, as this game starts to harden up as we get deeper into it, your determination to be our first male quarter millionaire comes closer and closer. And I love the fact that you want to be able to take your beautiful wife on the honeymoon that she didn't have. You want to take her to the Caribbean, I believe. Absolutely. You want to do the whole theme park thing in Florida with the kids? Yeah. And you've got a few other things you want to do for other people. Don't worry, I'll get it. Hello. Oh, he's trying to calculate this offer at Israel. He's trying to calculate... <laughs> yeah, this is quite an important part of the show, really. Uh, he's, try he's trying to calculate the offer, but unfortunately, his very good friend Stephen Hawkins' line is engaged at the moment. <laughs> so he's trying to work it out for himself. has put all of the figures that were in his mind through your system and he therefore thinks he's now come up with a perfect offer. 14,796 pounds and 15 P. <laughs> that is big money. Ready for the question. Israel, 
14,796 pounds and 15p. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Thank you. So far, we're doing all right. You're doing very well. So, yeah. carry on. We are now on number 15. Stephen, please, let it be blue. Israel, you're a top block, and I hope it's blue for you. 20,000. All right. to Beth, number, number 14, please. Uh, on what basis? <laughs> From 15, we go to 14. <laughs> Silly, mate. Follow <laughs> the plot, Edmonds, for goodness sake. Okay. I'll catch up in Good a minute. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, he still says okay. Hundred thousand. Yeah, um a hundred is a big number. But we will push on. Number thirteen, please, Abby. Okay. All the best, Israel. Thank you. Fifteen thousand, what an expensive round that was. What are you oh. thinking, Israel? Um, we've got good numbers there. We are going to start hitting the blues again. I know. I'm definite. Israel, when it was all going very well at the beginning, it was interesting how you said, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and now it's had a bit of a setback. You're talking about we as if it's our fault. <laughs> notice that. All of a sudden, we seem to have a collective responsibility for this. Hello. Oh, Israel, Israel. He says it's starting to turn. Well, if I'm right, I think he's conceding the fact that although you've taken a big hit, you're being very pragmatic about it, You've still got your confidence. You've still got your system. And he thinks it may be difficult to come up with the right figure, but he reckons he has. £12,000. So it's trim here, but not by a lot. Thank you very much. £12,000. It's a very fair offer. Um, yeah, that's quite a sensible offer in the circumstances. But how many times do you get you know, to sit on this chair? How many times? Let me just find out from, uh, from one or two people. Peggy. Yeah? What do you think? Well... I don't really know. of wisdom but it's just gone <laughs> Steve what do you think? I don't really know <laughs> actually Israel uh, if you want the advice six blues against five reds but them reds are strong you've still got a quarter million and I think I think your system's fantastic mate <laughs> And I think we're all behind you. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm ready for the question now, please. Twelve thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. But no deal. Thank you. On we go, Israel. Oliver. Right. Okay. 
am now. Yeah, where have we got to? I will be going to Sanjay. Here we are, we've arrived at you. <laughs> We're going to miss you, mate. Very good. Looking good. So then, leaving number nine, we then go to number eight. That's okay. Eight. Oh, you look like a brain box. You'll understand this system. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really easy actually. I don't know why nobody's got it. But... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really hope it's a blue. Well, it will be a blue. Looking good now. Um, right. Jody, please, number seven. Hold it right there. In the most complex show we've ever had in the history of Deal or No Deal, there is one simple fact. This man says he's going to get the quarter of a million, and he is on course to do it, and you will come back. You will. Santa starts next week on Deal or No Deal. I hope we get to pull a Christmas cracker. So do I. I didn't mean a man, Pommy. See you Monday. This is Israel. And he has produced a very unusual game. Now your belief is that Deal or No Deal is your one big opportunity to win a quarter of a million pounds and change your family's life forever. You're on course to do it, Israel. One more and we're at eight box. Where do you want to go? Jardy, is it? Right. Um, is it Jardy? Yes. Okay, we selected Number seven, please, Jardy. We selected you just before the break. Jardy, keep You're it going. You're a man, Israel, and I wish you all the best, mate. And bang goes the dream and the belief. But, but it's certainly not over. Hello. Jardy, how many games have you played? That's two, no. Two. Yeah, he arrived on Friday and he had the quarter of a million. Today, he's got the quarter of a million. He said he couldn't be more happy that Ian Botham and Robbie Savage have had a little boy. <laughs> Ooh, he thinks it's a good offer, I have to agree. You've taken the big one, and normally he really slashes at the offers. But it's still a very strong game. Eight and a half thousand is the value of box 18 now. Eight and a half to leave the game. That's a good offer. Very good offer. You know, the funny thing um, is I've seen games going horribly wrong. But I've also seen games that look more or less like my game and uh, they, they had a very happy ending. So, you ask me the question. Okay. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? You only come to this chair once. So, no deal. We know that three and nine you're going to keep, so you're yeah. limited to 21, six, one, yeah. two and five. Let's go to Harry, number six, please. Israel, he's lovely. Here we go, man. Yeah! What's it to be? Oh, now we're looking for a pound. No, 
you're looking for a pound, right? Let's go to call me number five, please. He's looking for a pound. Wouldn't it be fabulous if you've got it? Pommy, thank you. Good luck, Israel. Thank you. Now the team is winning again. George, number two, please. All right, George. Oh, this is blue. What a fabulous five box. Really praying I don't spoil your system. Yeah. Come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, make it blue. It's all right. Seventy-five thousand, thirty-five thousand, two of the power five. When you get to five boxes, always good news. Backed up by ten thousand. The way one or two games have gone recently, ten thousand is a very nice fallback. Hello. You've been working on this offer, have you, banker? Yes, you have a master's degree and a doctorate, and a professorial level in behavioural sciences, mathematics. Economics. Oh, he's brought all those talents and qualifications to play in working out this offer. And what conclusion have you come to, banker? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you can have a stab. Thank you very much. You've just topped. Your game so far, 16 and a half thousand. What did that do for you? Yeah, 16,500. That's a massive amount of money. It's good. It's tax free, it's right? Absolutely. You've been very determined. You've been very courageous. There's always a point where bravery goes a little too far. You know, I always said to myself, um, I would play the game, but I wouldn't be greedy. Greedy was, um, was the word I used. I've always thought there is a fine line between bravery and you know, stupidity. And a very, very fine line between ambition and greed. That's correct. You ask me the question. Okay. Israel, 16 and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Israel, one, three, twenty-one, nine. What order would you like? Twenty-one, one, and nine. I'll keep number three to the end. Three to the end. Yeah. Good luck, Peggy. We so much want a really great result from this extraordinary game, Peggy. First box of this all-important round. Open it, please. Good luck, Israel. Confirm again your next box. One and gets it nine. In nine, yeah. Just want to hear you say it, so we're with you. Carmine, 750 pounds, and he's guaranteed 10 grand. Open the box, please. Oh, right through the middle. It's okay, it's all right. And now we've really got to hope that this, we've really, really got to hope that this is 
second baseman. I need you to confirm. This is the one, yes? Number nine, please. Right. This box, Vicky, has a massive swing on it. 750 pounds, a flash of blue, and we know he's got a minimum of 10 grand. Please, don't reveal that one. Reveal that one. Reveal it now. Good Go. Luck, Israel. Oh, yeah! To decline the top of your game with that configuration, that was brave. Hello. Good. Oh, he's tipping his hat to you. He's saying the odds were stacked well against you doing what you've just done. And actually, if he'd been playing the game, he would have gone with the 16 and a half. I have to say, I would have done. I think a lot of other people would have done. That was a big risk, and now a very powerful situation. A very uncomfortable one for the man on the end of this phone, I tell you. Okay, the highest we've been at was the 16 and a half you declined. Would 26,000 pounds do a lot for you? If 16 was massive, then 26 is certainly more than just life changing. Really? Absolutely. More than life-changing? That's correct. I'm so thrilled that 26,000 would change your life. Fundamentally change your life. Because the offer is 33,000. <laughs> things um, more than three things I wanted to do with the money you know, from this show but if 33 is going to have such an obvious impact upon your life and that of your family should you reach out and try and make 75 I think that is the point where brave but a little bit greedy I think so yes I'm ready for the question Israel 33,000 pounds, deal or no deal. Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. Deal. If we got to this point and you'd been offered a swap, would you have taken it? Just as a matter of interest. I would have swapped, yes, because number three means a lot to me. You would have swapped? I would have swapped, yeah. So let's play it out and see what would have happened. Yeah? That's all right. Play it for real. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, this is the result that would have happened if you had decided to decline 33,000. Would you have actually taken the drop or would you have had the big increase? Here it comes. This is how it would have turned out. <laughs> Would you please reveal the 10,000 that he brought to the table? Sitting over there, that completes the game, completes an amazing game. I've, I've enjoyed this game. Have you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I never imagined it would be like this. 33,000 pounds. Amazing. 
thing about you. Yeah. It's a holiday in Florida. And I hope you miss it. Absolutely. Israel, 33,000 pounds. Christmas, but it's Santa or Scrooge with Deal or No Deal, and 